All right, guys, welcome to Adam McCola TV. As you can see, I'm somewhere a little bit different today. I've been with the guys at Ball Street, Ped from Tuffy TV. Look at his face. He's had a bad weekend. Got Paul over here as well from <laughs> Redmen TV. Uh, we've been doing content over on Ball Street, so check it out. The video and the link is in the description below. Make sure you subscribe. And right now, we're going to be talking about Red Rum's celebration against Everton and how we feel about players celebrating against their former clubs. At United, we've seen Ronaldo not celebrate against us, other players not celebrate against us, but we've seen Van Persie celebrate against Arsenal, Rooney celebrate against Everton, and now Lukaku's followed in his footsteps. Um, what do you make of it? He's a knobhead, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> right. This is what you'll find about Romelu Lukaku, right? You, on, I've got, listen, listen. Romelu Lukaku, I loved him when he played football, right? But he's a knobhead. Honest, you've just he's just you know that episode of The Simpsons where they have the elephants and he just goes, Elephants are like people, some of them are just knobheads, mate. <laughs> uh, Did they use the word knobhead? Uh, he's, he's just a knobhead and he's brilliant when he plays football, he'll score your goals, he'll get you he'll get you thirty plus goals this season, no problem. But he's just a bit of a tit. And, but, but that's just life, isn't it? And I've got, I actually don't have any problems. You know what's worse though? The fact that he described it as banter after oh, the fact. It's full it's on banter. Way, I hate that like, word. But, he's much of a, but what it is, is he's just like a normal football player. When he's on the pitch, you'll, you'll love him. When he's off the pitch, you'll just go, you're a bit of a tit. And yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, he was as much a tit as he was when he played for Everton. But did your fans not deserve that? Why? Why would? Why would? Because you grief? laughed your tits off when he missed. When he well, yeah, that, we, we gave Rooney a great ridiculous. reception. And if Rooney scored against us, I don't think he would have celebrated. That's because Rooney gives us heart and soul to Manchester United, even though he's an Evertonian. Did Ram not? Do no, this? he doesn't. He, honestly, I don't think he's got a soul. <laughs> I think he's already sold it to someone down the line. He's when he gets Nino. when he gets well, yeah, basically. <laughs> and when he gets his move to Real Madrid or wherever he goes next on his world tour, right? It'd probably be Mino All Stars by the time it's all done and dusted. He's not. He's honestly. I know it's all boss now, but he's. He just, he has sold his soul. He wants to be a footballer. He wants to play at the very top. And I've got no problem with that whatsoever. That's just, he is the... I'm all, I'm all, to be honest, I'm all over this, celebrating fans. I love it. I think there's, I think there's, 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 Certain circumstances where it finds a bit, a bit of class, but come on, we've reached this point now where he's look, he's what was he, 23, 24, 24 years old. old? This is like his fourth club by this fourth <laughs> or fifth yeah, club exactly. in his career by this point. He, um, <laughs> and again, I, I don't get the ban like it was just banter. Nah, banter's when you go, hey, you're there's cheeky a little bit, scout. there was a little bit in there. Yeah, wasn't you there, go like... over to Evertonians, every one of those Evertonians who were in that crowd and asked them if they thought it was funny, not one of them would have told you it was funny. But the fact is, as I say, I, I love that it shows a, a, a fraction of personality from a modern footballer. He's just been literally, because he missed it, the free kick, and everyone went, ah! No, but it was the Mkhitaryan no, goal it's, as well, it's where he, he shushed them. It's deeper than so that. So it makes me think it's much deeper than something that. else. What it's is it then? It's because, because, last, because he, because he is a lazy, he is lazy, right? He's a lazy footballer. Everything that people say about him is true. All he does is put the ball in the back of the net. I think that's a brilliant thing to do. <laughs> yeah. But some of our fans didn't stupidly didn't appreciate him. Uh, but but you but you've got to put that into context. Every time he went away on international duty, he, he run his mouth saying how he was going to leave and do this and do that. You don't do that. You have a little bit of like you said, have a little bit of class. He didn't have that at Everton. He was always his eye was always on the on the next thing. You don't need to do that it was when you're a stepping you're, stone, and it was obvious. That's right? fine, but you don't need to do that when you're as good as football as him. The, you, the football takes care of that, and it, he just he lacked class at times with us. And our fans, some of our fans, told him about that. I mean, as but I didn't Rooney, care. when Rooney went back to Everton as a United player, yeah. he celebrated numerous times at, at Goodison Park. And do you not think it's maybe an Everton fan problem that they? No, why, why is it an Everton fan problem? You take the piss out of people and you, you and you just... Listen, we've got proper fans. Don't, we? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, don't you love it, though? Don't, like I love that. Like You know when United are giving Gerrard stick and he scores and he and he sticks his five fingers up? Like I hate it, but I love it at the same time. It's all part of it. Like, like, you get an emotions out of you in the footy. Because like, here's the thing, because I had a lot of people message me about my reaction to us beating Arsenal. And say, you were a bit quick to rub it in Arsenal's faces. Where was your video after Man City? I said, well, we lost Man City. I, 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 I lock my doors. <laughs> and say, Are you mad? I crap that's, myself to sleep. But exactly, but that's, but that's your complicity in it. That's what footy's all yeah. about. You know, it's part of, you accept 
the winding up and all that. And I, I, it just it just does my head in when footballers don't emote because if you can't celebrate a goal, what's left? What's left in football to be happy about if you can't celebrate it? And as I say, there are, very, there are circumstances. So, like, I'll give you an example of a player, like, a player who's been treated magnificently. Maybe, like, a, I'll give you, like, it never happened, never scored against us, but Marcus Babbel uh, was right back for Liverpool. He got a really bad, like, illness. And Liverpool gave him another contract and kept him at the club and rehabilitated him. And then he moved on. Like, if he'd scored against us, I can get him, like, having a deep emotional connection with the club and being like, out of respect for what they did for my career, I wouldn't do that. But come on. Players are never at a football club mm. for more than three seasons anyway. Like, John, like John Joe Shelby not celebrating, mate. No one likes you and no one cares. <laughs> Just celebrate, mate. You know, stick one in and run away. You know, I can understand do you, do some players not celebrating celebration or you want, like, you know. I can understand some players not celebrating. Like, I didn't expect Rooney to, to ever kiss a United badge at Goodison Park, and he did. And, like, I never expected that. But then Ronaldo not celebrating against Sport in Lisbon. I get that. They made him. Um, I can, but I just love players. I love, I love it. And it's nice that... Whether it's good or bad, players acknowledge the it fans. It makes it all the sweeter like, though when when you then they then get snapped or they <laughs> yeah. then sky one. Because look again, we've been doing this. We've been Raheem Sterling is gonna score against Liverpool at some point, and we've given dogs abuse since he left, and it's been great. And he has shit his pants every single game he's played against us because of the abuse we've been giving him. But when he scores against us, my God, he's gonna do it out of by all. He's yeah. gonna do a full yeah. knee slide in front that of Liverpool. Mid, well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was exactly well, why it, I was more of that. What comes around goes around. Ultimately, yeah. isn't it in football? You know, as a fan, you get the you get the chance to have a go at them every moment. But they'll always get that one moment because they'll always get they'll always get games enough games to get that one chance. I mean, Lukaku had missed that chance early on, and then he, he fucked the free kick up, hadn't he? And, but ultimately, he was always going to score. I mean, but I think if Everton don't go, way Lukaku doesn't follow his no, running at all. He probably stands there like, yeah. I don't know, I just thought, fuck these lads. He might do. He might, he might do. He <laughs> does, because he's a knobhead. He does, because he's a knobhead, ultimately. Like, he, did, he did the whole shushing thing when you just got the second. That harks back to last season when... And what is it then? Can you explain what... Because what he's is a this? Knobhead. Like, but why is he in that? Like, because he's just a Is it just because he's always wanted to move away? No, because... Honestly, I just think he's a knobhead. He but why do Everton fans think like? Look, I ask. It, honestly, I'll come back in a couple of years. You'll you'll be thinking the same. It's not. I've, and when I say that, I some don't, players just go out their way to ingratiate themselves with fans, don't they? Like, I, I think give you an he example does it on of this. purpose. Maybe, maybe, maybe it makes it easier for him. Exactly. Exactly. It probably makes him have that little bit of edge in again. Maybe he's just, he's just a cold fish. He's not. I don't think he's got any loyalty to anyone bar himself and his and his ultimately his career and I've got no problem with that I've got like as I say yesterday I think it harked back to last year with Ashley Williams when um, Ashley Williams had a go had a go at him because he was doing his typical Lukaku thing not holding the ball up um, disappearing when we needed him most and Ashley Williams had a bit of a go at him and he shushed him and for some reason he thought that was an appropriate gesture to do that to our fans who Pretty much backed them, or you know that's that's the irony. The fans he was having a go at them, but the one the hardcore that will have yeah. will have backed them. Yeah. So he's if he he's a knobhead. You're looking but forward it, to the goodest thing, yeah. Yeah, you're looking forward to him skying one at the the at, by the Gladys. Oh, I, listen, he'll get fucking filled in at Goodison. If you have to <laughs> Let's be honest, we don't we don't mix about mess about. We don't have those uh, we don't have those premier security guys. We have fellas on seven pound an hour stewards <laughs> yeah. who will go. Oh, I'm not, we'll leave that lads. <laughs> don't get paid enough. You for know, this. Don't, don't get paid enough for that lads. You know, so uh, yeah, you'll probably you have to come and see you, Rom. Yeah, to be fair, Rom, you shushed me. <laughs> <laughs> just banter, lads. Yeah, just full bans. <laughs> It's when the ball boy you start oh, filling in. is a horrible word. Oh, isn't it? It's it's that needs to get banned from yeah, football. Yeah, it's a YouTube it's just a bit of banter. It's just, yeah, it's an excuse for being a knobhead, isn't it? Like, you know what I mean? Nothing's banter. Ultimately, anymore. Romelu Lukaku, though, is a great player. He can, if he puts the ball in the back of the net for your club, then you'll love him till the day you hate him. And that, that, that's, that's all football, footballers. Yeah. That is all yeah. footballers. We loved them when we loved them. And then when they're, when, when they're either leaving or... Or or, shit. Or, or shit, then we suddenly turn on them, and that's that is yeah. that's that's enjoy football. it while you're good. Basically, you know, as a footballer, you've you've got every it might as well. We're speaking from like celebrate. quite a privileged position, as yeah, like, yeah. like Liverpool fans. Well, you are. Well, yeah, yeah. you you so <laughs> relevant <laughs> in your old days. Yeah. <laughs> um, who else has celebrated against their old clubs? Adibai always is a great one. Adibai, I just don't um, think it gets any better than running the yeah, full that length was... of the pitch and knee sliding in front of the. Is there any celebrations that stick into your mind? Again, Against you or for you? 
Um, like proper grudge ones. I remember Van Nistelrooy's against Arsenal after yeah. he got harassed by Keon. I know it's not his former club, he shouldn't really care. But that celebration that he had, it kind of sends the hairs up on me. Yeah, like, I don't know. There's, there's been ones... Um, I've seen one before, actually. Lampard, when he scored against Chelsea uh, against Chelsea for City. And I thought it, it that was perfect. Because that was mm. that was a, a player that had, had spent most of his career at one club. And yeah. had, they'd got the best out of him. And, and yeah. you know, the whole going to Man City wasn't part of the plan for him. And when he, when he scored, it was just like... I've done, I've done my job for yeah. for both sides. Yeah. I know that was really... Tim Cale did something similar. He scored against Millwall, obviously a club that had mm. took a big chance on him when he came over. And he scored He scored at the Gladys scene. He just, he just walked away. I suppose it, because it was Millwall, we weren't that arsed. And, uh, but there was a bit... You could feel the respect there. Yeah. And like, you understand that when there's, genuine, there's genuinely a reason why they haven't celebrated. Yeah. It's not just been one of my other clubs. Yeah. There's that... Ge- like... To be fair, Duncan Ferguson wouldn't even yeah, when Ro- play if Robbie Ke- If Robbie Keane's cho- choosing yeah. not to celebrate because he's scoring against one of his four <laughs> Can't teams. celebrate against many teams, exactly. then, right? Well, I, again, again, like Roberto Firmino scored against Hoffenheim the other week and they had a club that brought him over to Europe and made him. And it, it wasn't like he was going mad, but he, you know, he emoted because he just scored an important goal. A few little high fives. And yeah, yeah, just bollocks. Score the goal. Enjoy yourself. Let everyone else enjoy themselves. Ronaldo and, scored against us and just... And he was in the Fergie's last Champions League game. Knocked us out. What a, <laughs> what a bastard. And he scored and it was like, I want to hate you. I want to throw something at you right See, he's now. He's the type of player, though, would score, not celebrate, but not celebrate just to get that reaction yeah. that he had. Because so yeah. he knows what he's doing. Oh, he we love you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he just do that just to get that reaction. The best one I remember, I think it was when um, the other Ronaldo scored his hat trick against you in the Champions League and basically the whole of Old Trafford stood oh, up and clapped because he was so that? fucking good. And that happens at occasions, you know. That that does that that does happen where fans will appreciate. I think there was one where Messi scored in the was it was it in the Messi Bernabeu. in the Bernabeu, yeah. and a couple of lads just stood up and clapped him because it was such an and amazing goal. And you just think there is there is there is great when it's you're mad that Real Madrid fans who spend yeah, exactly. half the time booing their exactly, own players. Exactly, but I think I think there is times yeah. where you've got to. Stand. I can't help but feel like Barcelona fans might not have done that if it was Figo. No, they sort of pigs head. But I think there is times where as a football fan you have to just. Sit in and just go, fuck me. I mean, standing up. I mean, I'd probably get lynched myself if I stood up in the Gladys Street and clapped someone else's goal. But yeah. <laughs> um, well, to be fair, I've told you the story when we played Madrid a couple of seasons ago in the Champions League at Anfield and they wiped the floor with us and Ronaldo was amazing. And he got a standing ovation when he come off the come off the pitch. But Chris, from Chris, my Redmen co-host, was sat behind the dugout at the time and he was on camera every week and he got caught yeah, on yeah, camera clapping. Got caught on camera <laughs> clapping Ronaldo and just got nailed. <laughs> and so, what are you doing, you fucking gobshite? Clapping a man, <laughs> clapping a man, this club, this club. Even though there's 40,000 others in it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, obviously, Redmen TV obviously represent the whole of the Liverpool fan oh, base. Yeah, so. yeah, completely, yeah, yeah. Totally. I'm two scouts for that. Yeah, yeah that's definitely. true. Yeah. <laughs> Says me. Anyway, um, <laughs> guys, check out the videos that we've done on Ball Street um, because they are very, very good. We spoke about Everton. His face has been like that throughout the whole thing. My face is um, always like this. We spoke <laughs> Genuinely. It's just we face. spoke about Liverpool's defence, uh, or the lack of defence. You had a good, you had a good 20 I'll tell you what, Man United fans, we go, this is fucking great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get over to Let's Ball Street, guys. Let's talk about some shit, how shit Liverpool are, and how great Lukaku is. We've got, to, we've got to enjoy this for a few weeks, because it'll probably be back to normal in a few others, so uh, it's not been a good few weeks. Back to normal, what is normal? Yeah, fucking Liverpool. Oh, then. We've got use that soon. Yeah. A month away. Those big wait. Ron days. I'm going to be in Amsterdam, thank God. So if uh, Jose decides to park the bus, uh, I'll be in the right place to forget all about it. Anyway. I might join you over there. Forget, <laughs> <laughs> forget about the game. <laughs> I believe the uh, Anne Frank Museum is wonderful this time of year. Yeah. yeah. Some, some That's exactly. Stuff. Well, that would make, put everything into context, really, wouldn't it? Like, <laughs> you know I, mean? I, bet, I bet, bet they celebrate Pele's over there, kid. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, guys. Uh, <laughs> Subscribe to Ball Street, subscribe to Tough TV, Red Red TV, Adam McCola TV. Make sure you're hitting that sub button. Comment, like, share. Uh, should Ram have celebrated against Everton? Do you like when former players celebrate against their old clubs? Uh, do you not care? He loves it. See you in a bit. <laughs>